zipper was down. <laughs> I just turned 30. Oh my god. I swear I'm an adult. Hey friends, my name is Whitney. I'm a second year internal medicine resident in San Jose, California. And today I thought I'd show you what a typical day looks like on a wards rotation in the hospital. And be prepared. There's a lot of footage of us sitting in front of a computer because unfortunately that's a lot of what we do. And since it's my first time doing a vlog, I guess, I didn't actually catch footage of myself talking into the camera while I was in the hospital, but I have other footage that should be interesting. Hope you enjoy it anyway. Let's get started. It's 6 a.m. After rolling around and contemplating whether or not you wanna go into work today, you finally roll out of bed. Look at me making my bed like an adult. Got my pad of Gucci that I paid $100 too much for, but wanted to be a cool kid. Ready to go. Oh shoot, can't forget my watch or my water bottle. Around 6.45, I get to the hospital, make my way up to our team room, our team's work room, and let me show you my favorite part of the hospital, which is our atrium. It's filled with so much green and sunlight. I love walking through here. Want to know what's on the other side of this door? Six flights of stairs. I do stairs so that I can drink as much boba as I want. Those who've worked with me know I never take the elevator so that even on days when I can't fit in a workout after I get home, at least I've gotten some physical activity throughout the day. And look, look at this view I've earned. Right over there, you can see the Wendy's that all our patients escape the hospital and run away to. Oh, our lovely team room. You're gonna get real sick of seeing this place. But this is pretty much where we spend 80% of our day. Yay, orange team! That's Jake on the right, Jonathan in the middle, and Alfonso hiding behind me. They are awesome. In the mornings, we come in, we review the charts on all our patients, look at the vitals, the labs, things that happen overnight, and come up with a plan for what we want to do today, how we want to change their management or decide whether a patient is safe for discharge. This here is called pre-rounding. So my interns will run the plan by me and honestly, most of the time, I agree with their suggestions because let's be real, they are way smarter than me and I'm just here so I don't get fined. Now that I've gone through all the data and made a plan for myself, talked it through with my interns, I go see the patients myself. Time to suit up. Anyhow, I met your mother fans. God, I've missed that show. Around 9.30, we round with our attending. And during rounds, our interns present the patients that they are taking care of. They present the objective data and their physical exam findings. And based off all this information, they present a plan of what they want to do for the patient that day. And we run through the whole list of patients before we go ahead and see patients together. Unfortunately, I can't show you footage of us seeing the patients because patient privacy, but essentially we go from room to room and our attending examines the patients and we agree on a plan for the day and we tell the patient what the plan is and address any concerns that they may have. For the most part, this takes us to lunch. Oh, I was so sad I didn't get any footage of the amazing food that we get catered, but in a future video, I'll be sure to remember. After lunch, it's time to execute the plans that we made in the morning. Sometimes this involves procedures. Usually we'll do paracentesis, thoracentesis, or lumbar punctures. And in these carts, you can find the kits, the gloves, the chloro preps, anything you may need. But before we get set up, time for a quick coffee break. These coffee machines are in the nutrition rooms and it's really not great coffee, but when you're in a bind, this will do the trick. Ooh, and here's the fridge with all the snacks. Yay, we did a successful paracentesis. 
Well, my intern did a successful paracentesis. He did the hard part. Now I'm just here waiting for the fluid in our patient's belly to drain. So a paracentesis is a procedure where we insert a needle into the belly so that we can grab fluid for lab tests to help us diagnose any infections or the source of the fluid. It can also be used to drain the fluid off the belly. It provides a lot of relief when the belly's not so distended and they can breathe more easily. Many of our patients have cirrhotic livers and as a result, they tend to have fluid accumulate in their belly and this is what it looks like. And back to the team room to put in orders and finish up our notes. Write those sign outs and then sign out to the night team so that they can help take care of our patients. Until the next day. And you're done. Time to escape home so you can shower, rest, and come back the next day. Until tomorrow. So thanks for watching my video. I hope you found it somewhat interesting. I figure this video might be helpful for those first and second years who haven't done clinical rotations yet, or people outside of medicine who are just curious about what we do in the hospital all day. And let me tell you now, it's a lot of sitting in front of the computer. In the future, I'll do a video about the day in the life of a resident on an ICU rotation, which should be pretty interesting. Although I'm not sure how much footage I can actually show you. So anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.